I spoke with Father Don Gutman at St. Clair Church. He's been a priest for several decades, and he says he cannot remember a time when the church was empty during the Holy Week. It is not a pleasant thought, but as he and other faith leaders suggest, there is some good that can come from these unsettling times. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Holy Thursday of Holy Week, and Father Don Gutman of St. Clair Parish in southwest Portland is preaching in front of an empty church. It feels weird to prisoners to be sitting at home watching their church service from their couch when they'd rather be here with all their, their friends and, and their church family. Do this in memory. They may not be together physically, but they're together. Just look at the scene inside the eerily quiet church at the corner of Southwest 19th and Spring Garden. We have pictures of everybody in the parish taped to the pews in the church, and it looks great to see it, but those are just pictures, and it's not real people. You have all the things that you need for this moment in our Seder. That feeling of emptiness is shared by the Jewish community, currently celebrating Passover. Many at Congregation Neve Shalom and beyond turn to Zoom for a community Seder. It's something like over 350 people will be together, which is incredible to have those kinds of numbers celebrating. Rabbi Eve Posen would have preferred celebrating with the congregation in person, but she says there's something refreshing about this year's Passover playing out online. Now you've got families from East Coast to West Coast and all over the world connecting to have a communal meal and celebrate the holidays together. The celebrations, the rabbi says, can provide a break from our lives that have been turned upside down. We're all a little bit broken right now. It feels like our normalcy has been broken, but we're going to make it out okay. And Father Don Gutman at St. Clair Church is sharing a similar message. Peace is going to going to reign stronger in our lives. The more connected we are to God and God's goodness and And Holy Week is a perfect time to be doing that. As you saw in that story, St. Clair and Congregation Neve Shalom have gotten creative with in-person services banned. I suggest heading to your church's website to see how they're gathering as a community. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.